Why are baby wardens shooting a wall when you can finish off the one HP monolith? Baby warden, you got the worst AI ever. No way. No way. But he's got the P.E.K.K.A. Welcome back, ladies and gentle gamers, to the next two versus two match today in the Creative Masters series. Choco has a hundred minions. <laughs> Ayo. Just so you know who's playing today, we got Kazuma from Na'Vi and Choco teaming up against Birdo, who's going to do four attacks all by himself. This guy is an absolute legend. Choco has 100 minions. This is amazing. At least it might be. Royal Champion with the Fox in early with the Invis spell. Oh, gosh. He just got obliterated. <laughs> the Invis was late. Awkward start. We zap Quake, an Invis Tower, and an Inferno. Got the CC troops pulled out. Okay. Okay, seven balloons to go with his minion Lalo. That RC charge got like at least two buildings and the enemy queen. Oh well. Queen on the bottom side of the base with an E Titan to help out. Now we're going to be patient. Or not. There's the king. We got three freezes, one invis, one rage. E Titan gonna keep walking left. Not sure how the Queen's gonna step. King with the E Titan. Queen gonna start getting hit pretty hard by these other defenses. Uh oh. Uh oh. She goes back inside with her ability. Can she get the expo and the scatter shot at least? That'd be nice. I did forget to check the equipments. Frozen arrow. Life gem. Champion had the haste file, but doesn't matter if she's fast if she's dead. Minion. Parade on the right side of the base with the Grand Warden. LOL. Is Life Gem even worth it for the minions? I mean, they still get like one shot. I would take the Rage Gem, bro. Make them do extra damage or something. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Warden ability pop. Minions trying to go for the enemy royal champion. Did that Battle Blimp make it all the way? More minions along the top side of the base. There's not that much splash except for those wizard towers, really. And the multi and the Town Hall. And they can both go down from the Yeti Bomb with the Rage. Oh, I forgot about the other scatter shot. LOL. He does get both those buildings with the Yeti Bomb. Now he's got to keep freezing the, the scatter shot with the Wizard Tower. Gets a balloon that actually takes out the other Wizard Tower. Invisible minions. Lol. Invisible minions. Take out the scatter shot. He brought 100 minions. And they're able to get through that scatter. There's no more splat. Oh, I'm lying. There's a Wizard Tower. And two multi archer towers. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that multi-archer tower is just going to pop off on these minions. If he had the rage gym on the Grand Warden, I feel like this might have had a chance, but I don't know for sure. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm lying, but it was fun, at least. A fun attack. Kinda. Was it creative? I don't know. You tell me. We'll have to see what the judges say. Warden goes down and he falls short to start the match today at 86%. Birdo with 60% four balloons oh this is amazing this is amazing tell me he's got another 10 in the clan castle we start with the skeleton donut okay get the clan castle get the scatter shot perfect invis spell placements sure battle blimp is in from the top side of the base What is this? There's not more balloons in the CC. There are super wizards. It's a blizz. Trying to get the town hall. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Get that town hall. All right. Bounce a couple buildings behind it as well, including the poison tower. And then we start the... I was going to say law low, but there ain't no law here. It's just nothing but balloons. Balloon Parade from the top side of the base with the Road Champion, with the Grand Warden. We got a Healing Tome. We got normal stuff on the Champion. Queen with the Healer Puppet. King with Earthquake Boots, but we'll use them later. <laughs> Don't worry about them. We got a Haste Spell. We got Balloons flying through the left side of the base. Couple more Balloons on the right side of the base. LOL. Balloon Parade. <laughs> balloon Parade. There's the King. Pop the Quake Boots right away. Was that worth it? I don't know. You tell me. He definitely opened a wall. That's for sure. Royal Champion in the core of the base. We still got her ability. We still got the Spear of Fox going invisible. Why does this actually have a chance? Hold on. 
But more balloons on the right side. King Queen gonna go fight the enemy queen, at least trying to. We got the queen ability still intact. We got the royal champion with her ability still intact. We pop the queen ability. She's got some healers from the healer puppet. One dies right away to a sinking air mine. But he's got a million balloons still up on the left side of the base, and only a handful of defenses left to get through. RC ability, boom, boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. He sniped like two or three defenses. Hello, tornado trap. It's gonna make things awkward. But the roach, the queen, still alive with her two healers. All the defenses are dead. Oh, buddy. Oh, he saved a balloon for cleanup. Let's go. That'll help. He's only got 60 seconds. Balloons might be the slowest possible unit on cleanup. I lied. Golems are probably worse. He actually saved a couple balloons to spread around for cleanup. Yo, Birdo. It's calculated. The balloon parade. This is amazing. Queen. Walking around. Is she going to be smart or is she just going to beat on a wall? Queen about to do what queens do best. First, oh, oh, she goes for the wall. Skelly's in her face. Take care of those. Then get back on the wall. At a girl, queen. Never mind. She heard me. Balloons over here with the Grand Warden helping out. The Grand Warden and the Phoenix making it go a little bit faster. He's got the time on the clock to go get the last two buildings. Down they go. And just like that, Birdo starts this match with a triple with 64 balloons flame flinger on the bottom side of the base with a giant archer queen on the right sure he lose on the queen it's gonna be a queen walk we got a frozen arrow we got a giant gauntlet we got a rage gym and a hog rider puppet cool cool queen versus queen action with a frozen arrow offensive queen wins that battle nine times out of nine freeze upon the scattish what Rage upon the queen. Sure. Queen. Is she going to go inside for the expos? I think that's the plan. And yes, ma'am, she will. Julio. Flame Flinger will go snipe the scatter shot next. How's the queen going to step after this second expo? We got a wizard on the right side of the base. She's going to keep walking to the right toward the Eagle Artillery. Okay. We lose one healer to a Seeking Air Mine. Tesla pops on the right side of the base. Sure, he's being patient. He saved one healer. Oh, because he's going to recall her the heck out of there and drop her on the outside of the base again. <gasps> recall spell. Interesting. Flame Flinger still flinging. King deployed on the top side of the base with a wall breaker to get access to the enemy royal champion. And a scatter short. Sprinkling in a couple giants here and there. All right, all right, all right. This is taking a lot of time, though. Wizards doing some funneling on the top side of the base. Coco balloons trying to keep the rest of these healers alive. We pop king ability. We snipe the scatter shot. He's going to go back up and around for trash building. Sure. Queen going to need another rage. Sure. Nice Coco loon pulls the trap. Super minions out of the flame flinger. Getting some more value here. Some bonus value. Wall break there, I guess. One more wall break to hit the next junction. We need a plan for the town hall. We got our uh, warden. We got a royal champion. We got a lot of giants. He sends the champion and the warden together from the top side of the base. Queen's going to have to take two to three business days to deal with the lava hound. But we're running out of time. He doesn't have two to three business days. So he pops the champion ability. He pops the warden ability. Trying to keep the hogs from the hog puppet alive in that warden ability. I think he got most of them in there. Another rage on the champion. A rage on the queen. Giants and wizards all along the outside of the base. The town hall goes down in like three swings from the Royal Champion and the Grand Warden. That was nice. 30 seconds. Does this work? He's got six giants not even deployed. Queen struggling a little bit, but we got her ability. Pop it right there. The healer's taking damage from the Inferno Towers, but that doesn't matter because we got the Royal Champion to get in there. We got the Rage Gym on the Grand Warden. He's got a million giants still alive on the left side of the base and with 10 seconds to spare and an extra invisibility spell. Just like that, it's a three-star for Mr. Kazuma. With 22 giants and 22 wizards. What the? Birdo. With a golem, nine hog riders, one healer. Okay. Two bat spells and a skeleton spell. Sweet. Skelly donut first. Skelly bat donut going for the inferno tower as well. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. We get it all. CC, multi, ricochet cannon. Oh, poor Birdo. That's a rip. 
That's a Ripperoni. Golem on the right side of the base with the Archer Queen. Super bar to a funnel. It's got seven Apprentice Wardens. How did I not even notice that? Siege Barracks at six o'clock. Seven Apprentice Wardens with only one healer. And he's got no poison spell to deal with these CC troops. Birdo might be in a little bit of trouble here on his second attack. King deployed. The Peckers and Wizards doing their thing here on the bottom side of the base. Queen had to pop ability, but she's got that healer puppet. We got Earthquake Boots level one again. A Rage Gym. And normal stuff on the champion. Okay. Queen, we're going to let her get wrecked. No, we're going to freeze. Does she stay alive there, though? Hello, Earthquake Boots. Real glad you had those. It's not like the corner of the wall was already open anyway. Queen still dies, even though we gave her that freeze. Awkward. Road Champion on the top side with a couple of Hog Riders. King going for the Town Hall, but without the Giant Gauntlet. I mean, without the Rage Gym or Rage Vile. Can't speak words. Does he get the Town Hall? Yes. We had to use a rage spell, but he got it. What in the heck is going on up here? Eternal Tome. Rage Gym. We haven't used it yet. Dude, all the auras stacked on top of each other from the baby wardens actually look funny. It's making everything glow. We popped the warden ability. We got some headhunters in the warden ability, but I think they're going to die before they take out the queen. 60 seconds left on the clock, but this is uh, looking a little wonky, especially with the healer staying on the baby wardens and not the... Never mind. There's no healer. Ignore me. Road Champion pops her ability. We take out the Ricochet Cannon. We got another free spell to get through a couple more defenses. He needs to try to pick up the percent to beat whatever percent Choco got at the beginning. I can't remember what he got. On the left, we take out another cannon. Wizard going for percentage points. We got four goblins. Road Champion goes down, but can the Warden snipe a few buildings? You bet your buttons he can. 74% in climbing. Come on, come on, come on. Get through the storage. Ooh. I think that's all he's going to get, right? Yeah. 77. Boom. What did Choco get? I think he got more than that. Uh, 86. So a nine building lead now for Kazuma and Choco. Choco is in with his second attack and he's got eight Pekka's with 11 lightning spells. Let's go. I like it. I like it. See what he can do here. Let's see what he can do. Zap away the core of the base. We get the eagle. We get... What was on the left and right there? I don't know. I think he got one Inferno Tower and, 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 and some other stuff. A monolith, I think. Cool. Queen on the bottom side of the base with a frozen arrow. With a da, 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 gauntlet, the life gem, and the haste vial. King over there on the right side. Cool, cool, cool. Skeleton spell is in. Road champion with the spirit fox. Very nice. Very nice. King going to walk downtown. We got a wall breaker already utilized. King going to have to pop ability. Rage tower making these defenses do a whole lot of extra damage. Road champion. Getting kind of wrecked by ricochet cannons. Luckily, the spirit fox comes in to save the day. Haste file going to make her quick with it. She takes out the ricochet cannon. King going toward the town hall. Queen dipped out toward the other wall opening. But with her ability, she should still be able to take the town hall. Right? RC trying to get the extra Inferno Tower before dying. Down goes the Town Hall and an extra Archer Tower. All right, the Sui looking good. Now we get to sprinkle in P.E.K.K.A.s and Witches around the base. Homie brought eight P.E.K.K.A.s and four Witches. What in the world? We just got to be slow with it. He has a Siege Barracks as well for an extra two P.E.K.K.A.s. Coming out of the Siege Barracks to make it ten P.E.K.K.A. total. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Two P.E.K.K.A. on the left side. Snipe the enemy Archer Queen. P.E.K.K.A.'s on the top. Looking fine with the Witches in behind. All we have to worry about is this raged up section. We pop the Warren ability with a bunch of wall breakers trying to open the walls now. Wizards from the Siege Barracks getting some extra value as well. Everything looking good. 69 seconds left on the clock. Teehee. Can we get through all this stuff? The Inferno Tower, the Expos, the Ricochet Cannon. The Warden very healthy. Somehow the Witches have not died. Pekka's and extra Hog Riders coming out of the Siege Barracks to help support. He's at 92% in climbing. He's got 50 seconds on the clock. It's looking good for Mr. Choco. Wow. Mass Zap. Mass Pekka actually works. 
at Town Hall 16. This game is so broken. It's insane. It's insane. Jeez. Warden takes out the CC building. Pekka get through the wall. 99% and 100. GG's to Mr. Choco right there. It's a beautiful meta we're living in, isn't it? That is a three star. Birdo is in with his third attack. Four healers. One miner. 13 super giants. More bats. More skeletons. Okay. Frozen arrow. Giant gauntlet. <gasps> Level 26 fireball. Let's hope he's doing something juicy with it. He's got a warden walk with the fireball. No rage gym though. He goes with the eternal tome. Champion has the old school stuff. He's got a skelly donut. Okay. Focus on the skelly donut for a few seconds. Does he get all three buildings this time? Last time his skelly donut didn't get the CC troops, but this time it definitely does. Get the CC, get the inferno tower, get the expo. Nice start. Letting the warden chill. Probably want to use the fireball on the scatter shot, if I had to guess. But we'll wait and what in the Oh. Oh <gasps> Invis the cannon. Fireball goes directly to the scatter shot while the blimp goes to the town hall. Yo! Alright, dude. That was actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Queen going down, pulling the warden now. We got super giants. We got wizards in behind on the bottom side of the base, funneling the queen and the warden inside to go get the next inferno tower. King making his way in as well. Oh, queen's actually struggling here. Queen goes to ability way too early. That's awkward. Poison tower slow with the barbarian king. He had the quake spell to help that fireball as well. Yes, because the fireball does not one shot a scatter shot or other key defenses like inferno tower. And Expo, I believe. King pops ability. No Earthquake boots this time. He brings out the Rage Vile to help support the Giant Gauntlet. If these healers could get on the Queen, man, that would be nice. Oh, <laughs> ask and you shall receive. They literally switch after I asked. Royal Champion on the right side. Going to take out the enemy Royal Champion with a Headhunter. Giant hits a Spring Trap. Smell you later, nerd. The Queen goes down. Rip. It's just a Warden walk in the middle of the base. Royal Champion doing her thing with a Spirit Fox. Couple of Super Giants trying to help out. Warden decides to dip out, get away from the Inferno Tower, even though he only needed to hit it like two more times. He's going to go help the Royal Champion and the King. We don't have that many units left. There's a Poison Tower to slow us down. There's a Tesla farm surrounding the Barbarian King with a Monolith to absolutely wreck the heroes. I think it's going to fizzle out, but man, that was cool. Man, that was cool. That Super Giant on the bottom side took care of business. Down goes the Spirit Fox, Royal Champion. Able to get through a little bit more with her Seeking Shield. And with the invisibility spell, but it's not enough to get the triple. Oof. But it was creative. That's for sure. I liked it. I liked it. That was a fun attack. Wizards trying to get an extra building there, and they will for the 85%. This might win him some favor with the judges' votes for extra stars. We'll see. We'll see. We got a frozen arrow. We got a giant gauntlet. We got a rage gem. We got Hog Rider Puppet. Okay, okay. Queen on the bottom side of the base with one Yeti to help support. Cool. Oh, holy traps, Kazuma. <laughs> Good thing you used a Cocoa Balloon there. That could have been scary. That was a lot of red air bombs, dude. Yeti on the right. King deployed. Queen gets the air defense. Making her way inside toward the Eagle Artillery. Sure, sure, sure. Queen takes the eagle. <laughs> Grand Warden with Rage Gym now to support the queen after the eagle's dead. All right, cool. I can dig it. King popping ability. CC troops are coming out. Are they going to split between the king and the queen? Not really. Pretty much all go to the queen. King popped his ability. Took out the enemy queen. Clearing out a funnel as well. So after queen takes two to three business days to deal with the CC troops, she'll go back to the left. King's even going to get the extra ricochet cannon. That's nice. That's really nice. With the Phoenix, is there any chance he gets the expo too? I don't know about that. Golem on the left to distract the expo while the log launcher tries to get in there and take it out. The golem's dying so quickly though. 
The log launcher is still going to go down early, I bet. Yeah, Scattershot even locks onto it. Queen Warden going inside the middle section now. We got a couple more Cocoa Balloons. Trying to search for traps. An extra healer coming out of the log launcher. Let's go. A nice golem as well. Royal Champion Spirit Fox deployed from the left side of the base. Very interesting. Queen Walk style attack here. Queen, Warden, Ice Golem. Dipping out to the left. Royal Champion helping to support. We still got six more Yetis. We got an Earthquake spell that he didn't really use. I think he was going to try to open these walls, but the Log Launcher died earlier than he anticipated, I bet. Ooh, this Warden's going to get locked onto by the Monolith. Got to freeze the Town Hall. Got to go to Warden Ability, Auto Ability. He's got so many freaking spells that he hasn't used. He's got like three Rages, two Freeze, an Invis, a Quake. Homie's just going to start blasting his spells at the end of the attack. There's a... F oh, he kind of whiffed that Freeze. Rage behind the Town Hall. He's making Venn Diagrams with his Rage spells now. Quake as well. Yeti's on the outside of the base. Just keep on raging. Just keep raging. Hog Rider Puppet. Get through the Inferno Tower. Freeze upon the single. Queen's still very healthy. Warden somehow stayed alive. And he's still got one more Rage left over. But with the Royal Champion dying, this actually might get a little close on time. We pop Queen Ability, get through the King, gotta go through the storages first. Yeti Mice trying to snipe the Wizard Tower, and they do. We got one more Expo to worry about, but the Skeleton Traps, it's a double Skelly Trap that we gotta waste time on. But I think he's got plenty of time. I think he's got plenty of time. 99% gets through the last Skelly, and the Expo is reachable. Down it goes, and that is another three star for Mr. Kazuma. Three skeleton spells. Is he going with another skelly donut? He's been liking these skelly donuts today. Couple sneaky goblins. Make a little bit of a funnel. Here we go with the skelly donut. Going for the Xbox as well as the CC and the monolith. To get all three. Dropping that third invis a little quickly. There's the fourth one. Poison Tower. Poison Tower makes things really awkward. Rip. Rip. Monolith stays up. Root Rider, Barbarian King. Root Rider's going to open the walls for the king here. That's nice. That's nice. On the right side, we got what? What? What is homie cooking up? Super. Super. Uh. A million baby wardens with healers. Do they snipe the enemy royal champion? Let's go. King popping ability. Is he going to be able to take out the town hall? Monolith wasn't supposed to be there, but it is. With the phoenix, does King get enough swipes? Maybe. Healers on the baby wardens actually keep them alive through the scatter shot. Oh, I'm a fan. King did take the town hall. Queen doing her thing by herself on the bottom side of the base. And then Grand Warden with more healers on the top side. What? We got a normal warden charge. We got a baby warden charge. Birdo. Yo, I like this guy. What was that? Was it a freeze? What? The fireball? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he was trying to freeze the defenses and he made them invisible. But the fireball still went off. I didn't even see the animation though. I just saw the fireball explode. Row champion from the left side of the base with a rage spell with a hog rider puppet. No, just normal stuff. He sent a couple of, uh, what, rocket balloons to help out and other stuff, I guess. The baby warden charge is the only thing that's going really well. RC pops our ability. Gets through the warden statue. Going to be able to get through the inferno tower. Why does this actually still have a chance of tripling, though? Where did the P.E.K.K.A. come from? Oh, he used the siege barracks. RC even gets through the expo. Yo, baby warden charge. Can you get through the monolith that the skelly donut missed? Maybe. Maybe. Do the healers? Oh, that sweeper's being so annoying. Only three baby wardens left alive. If that sweeper wasn't there. If that sweeper wasn't there. Headhunter, distract. Baby wardens. Why did they just switch targets? They're going to help the P.E.K.K.A. No freaking way. He's at 98%. Come on. Birdo, I believe. Why are baby wardens shooting a wall when you can finish off the one HP monolith? Baby warden, you got the worst AI ever. No way. No way. But he's got the P.E.K.K.A. And enough time. To get through the wall. Come on. One swing. One swing. And this might be the best three star I've seen all day. Let's go. And the final votes are in for Kazuma and Choco versus Birdo. Lelanto's giving Birdo a three. And this is going to push Birdo up to 12.10. But it's still not enough to defeat Kazuma and Choco. Who actually secured just enough votes.
to get the victory and they're moving on to the next round rip mr birdo